Hello everyone, Sura here. Today talking about meditation as a practice for self-love. I wanted to start by sharing a story with you about my travels to Italy last fall. I had wanted to take a pilgrimage to Assisi, Italy where the Saint Francis of Assisi was born and where he lived and shared his teaching of peace and understanding and it's a trip that I had really wanted to take for a long time. And after I had visited Assisi and was there I started thinking about all the things that I loved, how much I love traveling, how much I loved the people that I was with, my friends, my family, I thought about how much I love the work that I do. And as I started to think further and further about this, I had a realization. The realization being that all the things that I loved in my life, it wasn't the actual things and the people. They were mirrors of the love that's already within me. And this was a huge realization because for much of my life, and I know a lot of other people, we tend to look for energy, look for things outside of us. And to know that the source of my love and joy, even though they were initiated by some of the activities that I do, the places that I go to, the people that I'm with, the source of true love and true joy is already within me. It's already here and it's already now, and we can always access it. And this is what meditation helps us to do. And if I were to you know, walk away from my work tomorrow, would I be miserable? If I couldn't do the things that I love, would I be, you know, turn into a different person? And no, I would still be able to walk away and, um, have the experience of love, the unconditional experience of love, and that you know, work and the things that we do, they make us better. They help us to experience these higher states, but we don't have to try to get energy from people or get energy from things because they aren't the source of that. The source is actually coming from within. We're experiencing it from within. Um, the people around us, the things we do, they are mirrors and they show us what's already within us, what's already available here and now. And that's what meditation helps us to do. And so again, for most of my life, I have always been searching, you know, looking outside or feeling like something's missing, feeling like I have to get energy from other things or other activities or that I can finally relax and let go when I've achieved a certain level and that really it's just knowing that whatever we're looking for is already here and we can access it. Meditation helps us to access higher states of being like joy, peace, love, compassion. And these states, they're available to all of us. They're like little seeds little seeds within our consciousness that through meditation, through practicing, breathing, paying attention, higher awareness, we water these seeds inside of us. We choose to water those seeds. And if we're not watering those seeds every day, if we're not tending to them or taking care of them or choosing to nurture those seeds, then we're really wrapped up in the identification of our mind. So we believe everything that's going on up here. We don't question the stories. We don't question the way that we think. We just kind of go along. It's like playing a record and just believing every single thing that the record is playing. We hear songs on the radio and we just take these songs in and we just believe them for what they are. And that's what it's like when we go through our day to day. But through meditation, we really start to look at, you know, what is the stream of thoughts? 
that's going through my mind is, are these thoughts serving me? Are these thoughts separating me from the present moment? Separating me from other people? And we're just noticing it and we don't judge ourselves for it. We don't beat ourselves up. We just become aware. And every time we become aware of it, we, we become empowered to make a new choice, to have a new thought, to have a new belief or sensation, whatever it might be. And really, meditation helps to increase the levels of joy, gratitude, higher feelings, higher states that we want. And in reality, when people are searching, whether you're searching on Facebook, whether you're looking for more status or more money, a soulmate, a bigger house, a better car, whatever it might be, it always leads back to love. What we're really looking for. What we're really looking for is the inner state of love the inner state of freedom, the inner state of being our true self. So I invite you that, you know, when you think about what you want, there's nothing wrong with having desires. There's nothing wrong with having goals and setting your intentions. But to know why you're setting them and to align yourself to the inner state that you want to experience ultimately from having achieved your goals, your dreams, what is that inner state? Who is the person that you want to become, that future self? And can you bring that future self that you want to be, that you want to experience within right now? Can you feel comfortable expressing your love, expressing your kindness or your vulnerability? Meditation helps us to to realize that and to let go of looking for things outside of us to make us happy, to fulfill us, but really finding that source, that inner bubbling spring of quiet joy from within you. So whenever we feel incomplete, whenever we feel like something's lacking or there's not enough of something that we want, knowing that that's a state of consciousness that we're engaging in and that it's possible to shift your inner state, to shift to a place of fullness, to shift to a place of completion, to shift to a place of there's enough and that life is overflowing being aware of when we're in fear consciousness or scarcity consciousness where there isn't enough or when we're in a place of love consciousness, of abundance consciousness where things are flowing and there's always enough that's there. I invite you to join me in this guided meditation and this meditation is to help you get in touch with the love that's already within you, self-love. And meditation is healing. It's healing, it's revealing. It shows us where our blocks might be, where we're blocking ourselves from having certain experiences, whether it's from past experiences or wounds but meditation helps to reveal, it helps to heal and bring you back to balance. And that whatever we're seeking out there, we can generate from within, from in here, in this moment. And that when we're fully engaged in the moment, we are participating in the higher consciousness when we're fully choosing to be here. Wherever you are, just taking time to Sit back and relax. 
find a comfortable place where you won't be disturbed or you can listen to this in the background. And this meditation incorporates inquiry, coaching questions to help you further contemplate how you might choose differently, how you might make small changes in your life to increase the joy and love that you feel in your everyday life. Wherever you are, becoming as tension-free as possible. So using your breath, inhaling and exhaling, letting go, releasing the content of your day, any exchanges or responsibilities that you have giving yourself full permission to let go. If you like, you can close your eyes or have your eyes gently open. Turning your attention inward. And as you breathe in and breathe out, let your whole body relax down towards the earth. Let your spine and your upper body move up high towards the sky. Relaxing your shoulders, neck, jaw, Relaxing your mind, your heart, relaxing your feet down towards the earth. Let's take a full body breath in through the bottoms of your feet all the way up through your body to the top of your head. Feel a sense of letting go as you exhale back down, massaging through your inner body, out through your arms and your legs. With each breath, feel a sense of openness in your belly. Let the belly drop open. Let your throat open, the back of the throat. Relax behind your eyes. Relax in the back of your brain. Centering yourself here and now. Center yourself in your awareness. Center yourself in your body. Letting yourself feel balanced and at ease. Draw your attention now to your heart center and let yourself rest in the back of your heart. Feel a gentle softening in your heart. See if you can envision a flame, like a candle flame. It's gently burning and warming 
your entire heart. Maybe it's melting away tension. Melting away discomfort. Even if you have thoughts arise, see if you can center yourself within the flame inside your heart. Let yourself rest there. Just rest for now. There's nowhere to go and nothing to do. And I'll ask a series of questions. Let yourself be receptive, intuitive, and there's no need to filter anything that comes to your mind or awareness. But see if you can rest your attention in your heart as you listen. So envision listening from your heart, being fully in your heart. Imagine and feel the energy of being unconditionally loved. You are unconditionally loved. Let yourself receive this feeling even if you feel resistance or discomfort. Let yourself receive the feeling of unconditional love. Pure permission to be yourself. To feel yourself. Breathing in and breathing out. What would you do if you loved yourself more? What would you do for your health if you unconditionally loved yourself? Just going with the first few impressions What would you do about your work if you unconditionally loved yourself? Staying centered in your heart, breathing, easily, letting your breath flow through you. What changes would you make in your lifestyle if you unconditionally loved yourself? Let yourself relax through your belly and your center. What small changes would you make? 
or big changes. And what would you do in your relationships? If you unconditionally loved yourself. Who would you be? How would you relate? Just noticing the emotions and sensations that arise without having to analyze or justify anything that comes up. Just let it all be, let it all come through without inhibition, without filter. In meditation, everything is okay. Everything is valid. Whatever experience you're having is valid and true for you in the moment. And what would you do about your goals, your desires, your true heartfelt desires, the things that you've always wanted to do, that you've always wanted to take action on, what would you do if you unconditionally loved yourself? Breathing in and out of the heart, letting the body be open and relaxed. It's in that state of open awareness that we can let our heartfelt answers and truths flow through to us. Let it flow through to you with your breath. When we relax the body, we invite our intuitive knowing to come through in our meditations. What would you do if you unconditionally loved yourself? And you can ask yourself this question if you find yourself needing to make a decision, if you feel like you're stuck, if you want to move energy forward in your life, maybe all that's needed is a little more self-care, a little more self-love and self-permission. And take a breath, inhale, and exhale out through your heart. I invite you to write down any impressions or intuitive hits that you received during this meditation. You can always come back to it you can practice it on your own, going through all parts of your life and asking yourself questions about the different parts of your life. Love invites space. It invites spaciousness and ease and flow. And when we can invite that into anything that we decide to do, then you, you'll notice that things start to harmonize a lot more easily. There's less struggle, less effort, 
things naturally will come together.